Well, take a look at this selfie, and when you take a look, what do you see? Luckily, this woman was worried about what she saw, and the photo led her to seek medical attention. You could definitely say the selfie helped save her life. Let's bring in Paula Tubman. She's outside Henry Ford Macomb Hospital with this story. All right, Paula, you have the intrigued. Okay, very good, because this thing, this pesky confounding thing, how many of us have done this and this and this, but at this time, that exact moment for this woman, it made all the difference in the world because the cell phone gods were on her side. Or, oh my goodness. Today is the last day of inpatient physical therapy for Juanita Branch. No pain today. Tomorrow she's going home after 26 days at Henry Ford Health System Hospital Macomb after suffering what should have been a life altering stroke. Who dangles on one foot? But she leaves with minimal deficits and a brand new love for selfies. I tease people about taking selfies. The 63-year-old Frazier woman had worked hard to lose weight and decided she needed to update her Facebook page profile picture. She lives alone, so she decided to take the dreaded selfie. I'm doing my pose, how I'm going to pose for my Facebook page, and I'm taking about eight pictures, and I'm like going through them and going, what the heck is going on? And each picture was getting worse. When she looked at the photos, here's what she saw. A stroke happening before her very eyes and the camera, all captured a frame at a time. And I'm like, oh my God, I think I'm having a stroke. What's happening here? And my face had drooped, my eye had drooped, everything had drooped. And that's what made me go, oh my goodness. And it was happening while I was taking the pictures. You can see in the pictures how it was happening. She called 911 immediately, was at the hospital within 30 minutes, and here's what's remarkable. That timestamp on those pictures told physicians everything they needed to know about that stroke to give her a wonder drug, TPA. Basically a clot-busting medication that we use um, in uh, acute strokes uh, for people that come in within a three to four and a half hour time period, and it can basically reverse, uh, reverse strokes if we can get it to patients um, quickly enough. After that, it can cause more bleeding in the brain. Doctors know it can work if they get it on board in time, but they usually can't because they can't pinpoint the start of a stroke. Juanita's photos documented the exact onset of that stroke so doctors could stop it, reverse much of the damage, and reduce progressive deficits. In plain English, the selfies saved Juanita's life. And she also knew how to act fast. She knew the symptoms of a stroke, fast, facial drooping, arms get weak, speech slurred, time to call 911, get to the hospital, get some help. It made all the difference in the world. She is going to be A-OK, -okay, Karen. Wow, Juanita is amazing and it's Not amazing. Right? It really is, I mean, for her to recognize that and then to act so quickly. I'm so glad she's doing OK. How about? Yes, for her to recognize it, but for the camera to catch it so the doctors could act. That's big. Quick silly question, Paula. Did she ever update her Facebook profile afterwards? <laughs> well, I'm sure she's going to do that, but I can tell you this. She now loves the selfie. Uh, the selfie. Well, I think a lot of people do as well. <laughs> All right, thank you, Paula. We appreciate it.